Hello, my name is Alora Trotter, and sorry, and I'm a sophomore at Duchenne Academy. I'd like to issue a trigger warning for sexual violence, and this is my piece, Halmon. I was born into the careless caresses of vast black space. I was only five when the black first took shape. I was raped by my father, and a dark monster was contrived. If his hands were on my hips, why did I feel his hands in my head? Twisting my insides until he had climbed all of the rungs up my suffocating lungs. If stars were the luminaries, I was the black voids that rested between them. After all, why would anyone want me if my own mother didn't? But then, a missionary arrived. I was 21, and when I saw his face, I saw the sun rise. He kissed me secretly and wrote me love letters in my Bibles. When his hands were on my face, why did I feel his hands on my chest, mending my broken insides until he had climbed all of the rungs up my drunk on love lungs? My dark monster dissipated into smoky wafts because he was my son who rose and rose on my life like a never-ending dawn. And I, I was his lady moon reflecting the light he fed to me on silver spoons. I was following him to the States, but I was not afraid of a foreign language or a languishing fate because someone finally wanted me. But I had drunk his poison as an elixir, thinking that he was the alchemist who would mold me into gold, but to him I was cut copper that he had failed to fold into silver. I was 22, and the day he shoved divorce papers into my hands, a dark monster shuddered inside of me along with a child's first kick, but I still loved him. And in my dreams and waking fantasies, I imagined our family playing in gleaming sunrise beams. And I imagined truly laughing with him as we gazed into the sun set, but the sun set. He left me in a gas station with my arms folded in my chest. I wondered at how my daughter could be born from something dying. And on the night of her birth, I cursed those stars I'd wished upon them countlessly, and not one word had ever been heard. I was left penniless without a home, and with a hungry child, I was alone, without even the knowledge to speak to the cashier at the grocery store. And my tears to the stars woke my daughter cradled in my arms. With an oblivious yawn, she stretched her arm to the sky as if it was the coming dawn. And when her tiny hands squeezed my finger, why did I feel her hands grasp my heart? And I knew that I would never allow her, as I had, to be born into the dark. But this is not my story. It is my grandmother's, it is she, a Korean immigrant, abandoned by God to suffer, left alone to raise my mother in a country she didn't know how to call home. And now whenever I look upon the starry sky, I am reminded that like a shooting star, I am a streak she painted across the night. I was born to a woman who was forgotten. And that is why I know that she will never forget me.